Welcome back to the shooting channel and today we're going to do a round of clays with something a little bit different because it's now middle of the year we've done lots of yield lots of brownings lots of other stuff mossbergs on this channel so we just thought we'd do something with a kind of cyber side And this is an E. Chamberlain hammer gun. And over the last few years, there was a lot of interest in hammer guns. And not necessarily for game shooting, but people buying them just because they're a little bit of the English tradition, the English history. And it's a bit, again, like I've said with side sides, it's a bit like buying an old classic sports car. Buying something like this, it's like you're buying into the old English history. And a lot of these, a lot of these guns all come in their original case. So this has got its original leather case. And again, probably pretty much built by hand. And this is the gun. And again, it's original. To get a hammer gun like this that is original is a really, really nice thing, I think. And okay, I love my over and unders, I love my brownings, I love my blazers, all these sort of things. But I thought this came in and I thought I would do a little bit of a round of clays with it. So, I'm gonna put it together. The one thing that I, I feel at the moment and a, a lot of these hammer guns people they kind of take it for granted is in these days all of this was all done by hand so there's hours and hours and hours of work gone in to making this gun so that is why i think it's something a little bit special is you're not just buying a gun off the shelf you're buying a piece of history and even down to the engraving, the hammers, all that was all carved out by hand. And something like this, you can actually find, and if you go in there where somewhere it's got quite a few cybersides, you can actually find them. Generally, hammer guns or cyber sides are quite flat in the comb. This one is actually quite high in the comb. So if you're looking for something that can actually, you can go out and you can have a bit of fun with, have a look at the dimensions and how high it is. Right, now let's shoot it and see what I can hit with it. Pull. 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 I killed a couple of nice pairs there, and it just, it puts a smile on your face when you shoot something like this. You, you put the cartridge in the gun, you pull your hammers back, you get ready, and you go and it just puts that smile on your face just as you as you put the cartridges in you close the gun up you pull the hammers back and it just it just feels like you're shooting that piece of history back for ages ago and it feels really nice I'm gonna do that again cartridges in close the gun up Pull. 
Pull. Pull. And it just puts a smile on your face when you shoot. Pull. Pull. Now I'm going to go and shoot one more stand with it. And let's see what happens. So I am going to go in and ask my father, Doug, a little bit from his expert from years of experience, just a little bit of, of more technical knowledge about the hammer gun as well. So we will cut in to the film uh, just to ask him about his, his just his, the, the technical side of the gun as well. On rare occasions, we managed to get hold of a hammer gun, which is a little bit different. Um, I can sell all the nice hammer guns I can get, but probably out of 20 hammer guns that come into us, 19 of them are scrap. This one came in the other day, which is a bit unusual. It's a chamber in, but what's unusual about it, it's got a rounded body. So it's got a nice round body, so when the gun sits over your arm, it doesn't dig in. It's got the original steel barrels on it, which have been reproved two and three quarters. Personally, I don't like reproving hammer guns to two and three quarters because if they were made originally to shoot two and a half inch cartridges, they will shoot nicely with two and a half inch cartridges. Um, this one is particularly nice because it's got a pinch of rail stock. Now that is a pinch of rail stock. And a pinch of rail stock is squared off and the trigger rail goes straight into the cap. A rounded pistol grip is just rounded off. So it's a visual four and a four inch um, stuff on it. It's just generally a nice gun. Uh, the other unusual thing about it, which seems to relate to live pigeon guns, is for a tapered rib. As you can see, the rib and ta tapers right at the back, now at the front, which tends to bring the weight off the end of the barrels into your hands. It's for, it's an original case with it, which is a little bit tired, but if somebody wants to spend some money, two or three hundred pounds, they can have a face refurbished. So it's nice to get a hammer gun in a case which is in original condition and nice. So now I'm just going to shoot a little driven target, a little basic driven pheasant. Let's see what that's like. Pull. Pull. The other thing I would notice, and if you do get something like this, they don't recall a great deal, these guns, but make sure you shoot 24 gram cartridges because you do not want to put a thumpy cartridge through these because it will kick you. They're really light. Look after them. Don't use them, abuse them. Look after them. I'm using little Fiocchi TTs. Absolutely perfect for the job. Pull. 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 So that is my round of clays with my hammer gun. Any information on this, please comment below. I'd love to hear anyone's thoughts. I'd love to hear if you are thinking of buying a hammer gun, what would you like to buy? Or do you have any information? I hope you enjoyed this program. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.